so friends today i'm going to walk you through this uh, game we've just released on google play called blockstock cricket our game tries to be as simple and as easy to learn as possible because the reason i made this game is that recently i tried playing one of these well known cricket games and apart from being hundreds of megabytes to download it actually made my phone really hot now even though i am a techie i just wonder how good or bad that could be for my phone and yet even though i kept trying to play it for 50 10 15 minutes i was distracted and i couldn't follow the tutorial and it was too difficult to learn so i thought why not make a cricket game that's as easy to learn as angry birds or temple run that somebody just puts it on and boom they know what to do and they start scoring they start playing they start trying to beat their own scores they start trying to unlock achievements and make their way to the leaderboards so in that direction we made this game called blockstock cricket and so without further uh, history which we'll come back to later let me show you how to play this game and what all this game allows us to do so this game has three modes we have the challenge mode we have the world cup mode and we have the best score mode the challenge mode we need to overcome certain challenges by uh, to unlock achievements so let's try and see what the challenge mode looks like this is the challenge mode Uh, we click on challenge number one, and here we go. We need to hit we need to hit two consecutive fours. That's the challenge. So let's let's see how easily or how difficult it is for us to hit two consecutive fours. Here and two. Okay, so it's not as easy as it looks, and uh, let's go back. Let's let's see what the best score mode looks like. Here we are playing this in the best score mode. Let's see how much I can score. Ooh, I'm out. We go back to the menu, and. Let's have a look at the World Cup mode. Let's field play as India. We have this very interesting thing that we can take screenshots in different places in the game. So I'm trying to take a screenshot of this. So here goes. We play men in blue. I'm playing Engl India against England. Ooh, I'm out. Let me play this one more time and then I'll show you more of these functions. India versus Pakistan. Who? I'm out again. Let's play again. India versus Zimbabwe. Uh let me tell you that this is not just a ball machine, but we've actually tried to incorporate qualities of different teams like the Pakistani team, it gives pace and bouncing balls. Uh Indian team, well, you must play it to see how and what we've programmed for the Indian team. This is just see. We'll try to win this match. We won. Now you're gonna play India versus England. Since we have a total of ten teams and we are going to be playing as one of the teams, uh, we have to play nine matches in the World Cup to defeat all the other teams in the World Cup. So we've lost. Now let's come back to the main menu. Yeah. So we have one more very interesting thing in this game, which is screenshots and the screenshot manager. You click this red button. and we have this oops we haven't clicked any screenshots at least we haven't successfully clicked any screenshots it seems so here we go again
So here we are, merrily playing along and clicking screenshots in the process. Ooh, we are out again. I'll go back and let's have a look at the screenshots you clicked. So here are the screenshots. Ooh, this is a good one. You can share the screenshot. Yeah, so using So we are sending it to ourselves on Gmail. Yeah. Send it to support. So yeah, we have this option for uh, best score. Let's 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 try it again. Let's see what kind of score we can make. Ooh, ooh, I'm out. Not a great score, so to speak. Ooh. You're out. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the main menu and that's where our uh, podcast ends. <laughs>